So in this video, I want to share with you about retracement. I know retracement is a topic that many people avoid, but why do you blow your account when you have bought? It's because the market sold. And that selling short-term sell, it's called a retracement. So I have understood that the way the chart, um, the chart market is, there are four types of retracement. According to me, there might be many, but according to me, there are four types of retracement. So I'll just mention the four retracements, but I won't go into detail again, because this topic, this is a whole module on my course, which I charge $400. If you're interested, just um, WhatsApp me and uh, yeah, you'll get the course. And if you want to come to physical class in Kenya, you're most welcome. January class starts date 15th. So the top, the number one type of retracement that I have come to understand is called deep retracement. So we have the deep retracement. So just allow me to alert you that there are types of retracement. Number two, we have one candle retracement, one candle retracement. And then number three, we have the ranging retracement, retracement. And then number four, we have no retracement. Not every time the market will retrace. So you need to be aware that there are sometimes you will not have any type of retracement in your chart. I won't go into details. Like I said, it is a course. It is a whole module that I have explained different types of retracement and how they occur. And even understanding this alone can really elevate your trading uh, results. It can, it can equip you. Maybe the reason why, because I understand that the market might be going on an uptrend very well on an uptrend, and <clears throat> you're waiting for this retracement. And when the market is like this, you enter a buy, thinking that this market will do what will buy, and then the market continued to go down because the retracement was not yet done. Then after your stop loss is hit, that's when now the market goes up. You have to understand what type of retracement it is and what, what triggers a deep retracement. So this one we can call it is a deep retracement. Why? Because it breaks zones and even it breaks the major support area and makes you understand that now the market has reversed, but it's called a deep retracement. When you talk of one candle retracement is when the market is on an upward market. And then when you enter after the break of structure, majority of people don't really wait for the retracement. So majority will enter by because they want to buy, but you find that there's a huge red candle uh, going down. And after that huge red candle that has stopped everyone, the market now continues to go up. That is called one candle retracement. Go on your chart and you'll find many other times the market will do one candle retracement. I want you to comment down below if you knew that there are types of retracement. If you didn't know, say thank you because I'm, I'm, I'm giving out information that I'm, I'm not supposed to be giving out, but it, it is what it is. So ranging retracement is when the market is on an uptrend. It can be on an uptrend or downtrend or something. And then the market, you enter here thinking now the market has finished to retrace and the market does kind of ranging retracement. You need to understand how to trade a ranging retracement, guys. Ranging retracement, you need to understand how to trade it. And the last but not least is where we say no retracement. Many are the times that the market is going on an uptrend and it breaks a very major uh, resistance and everyone is hoping for the market to come down but what happens the market continues to go up so the market does not do any kind of retracement sometimes it is frustrating because uh, it hits the tp as you are waiting for the market to come down it fails to come down this is the time that we say that market didn't have a retracement and it went to tp1 tp2 and it completed maybe a pattern so you need to understand that in your chart, we have all these four types of retracement. If you want, and I'm repeating again, there is no way I will ever do a video explaining deep retracement in the chart and even the strategy because deep retracement has a strategy that I have. 
and that is BW strategy. We use it for deep retracement. And again, one candle kind of retracement, we use the BWA. The ranging retracement, we use the 3CB strategy. And then the no retracement, again, we use the BWA. So I won't come here to create a video for free because this is a course, uh, it's a module in my course. Immediately you purchase that course, you will find it. I think it is in module, either module four or module module four or module three, because it's the, it's, um, I'm trying to explain the types of retracement even before you get deeper in the strategy. So this is a whole course explaining. So in this video, I want to show you the power of retracement. And even if I won't get into details of the four types of retracement, there are rules. There are rules of retracement. And number one rule of retracement is that whenever a resistor, number one, Whenever a resistance or a support is broken, let's say this is resistance that has been broken like that. Whenever a resistance um, is broken, the number one rule you have to understand, whenever a resistance is broken, the market tends to retrace. So the market will retrace. Majority think they will, the market will retrace back to this line or whatever is the resistance. But I tend to tell people the market can even retrace back to where the candle started. So this is something I've come to realize majority don't know. People say, oh, it will retrace up to the red line where it broke. But I want to tell you if it is a, a retracement that uh, it will give you a good, uh, uh, an entry, a good entry, it has to retrace back to the starting of this candle. That is number one rule. So you need to understand if you have a red candle that has broken your, support, let's say this is a red candle and it has a week on top. So if you want to, if you want to check um to check the retracement, let's say now you you want to enter sell because the market has broke, wait until the the price is at this level, at this level, so that you can enter easily. That's the number one thing. Whenever the market breaks, and I don't know if I have an, any example. Um, for instance, um, let's let's see if I have any example. So it's like here, the market broke. Can you see? We had a break of structure. You can come to look for your buys around this area. Can you see we had a buy order here? You would have made how many pips? You'd have made 455 pips easily. Instead of someone who is coming to buy here immediately, the market breaks, you come and target the lower of the body. And then when the market, uh, this is a monthly time frame, it took two months, and then your trade was activated, and then you got all those pips. That's what I'm saying. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Not always the market behaves like that. But it is good when the market breaks a structure, you need to come and and um and place your buy order or a sell order where the candle began. It, if it is a break of structure at resistance, you need to put your buy order at the beginning of the green candle. If it is break of support, you need to put your sell order at the beginning of the red candle. That is number one rule, guys. Number the second thing, whenever the market breaks. A structure, let's say this was daily time frame or weekly or monthly, whichever time frame you have. If you have daily in the market, we have seen for sure daily has broke structure. If the market has broke structure like this, number two, you will look for any zones where maybe it will form a double bottom because as the market is going down, the market can tap a support area to form a double bottom. That should be your first area to think the market will come to. If the market has broken support and it is going on an upward to create a retracement, your work is to look for area where it can it can form a double top. Okay, because once the double top is hit, the market will eventually come down. So that is the second thing. Whenever retracement, uh, we we know that the end of retracement at the zones. So the zones we use them for either double tops or double bottoms. So for instance, if you have a, I don't want to use the monthly because monthly has a lot. If you have a monthly time frame, it is not a good example. But let's say let's let's see if I can give you example with four hour.
let's see if I can give you example with four what I mean. So for instance, the market broke a structure. Can you see here we have the break of structure? Avoid, guys, avoid to place your buy trade here. So what you do, the first area where you're supposed to place your trade is this zone, because this is where the candle broke. So that's what we say. You will try to place your buy order here. And again, if you if the market doesn't, if this is the area where you can even have um like a double bottom, you will take this as a double bottom like this. Can you see? So instead of now placing blindly a buy order, immediately this area is hit, you will be anticipating for this double bottom to work and you know how we use it. We use CRB. So you'll be anticipating this double bottom, the market can either break above or break below. And you see, the market broke below, giving us a cup and handle. That's how you tackle a retracement. That's how you tackle any retracement. For instance, um, the market broke here. You can see we have this break of structure. So the market broke structure around this place. And you can see the candle that broke structure is here. This is the candle that broke structure. So by the time the market is activating that candle and breaking through, you're supposed to exit that trade and come and, and just figure out what if the market was to come down below to create a double bottom. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys, that's what I'm trying to say. So anytime you have a break of structure, your favorite zones will be double tops or double bottoms. The zones that are about to make double tops or double bottoms. The last thing, the last rule that I want to give you is that whenever a, a market breaks structure, it's good to go to lower time frame to see the entry point. Yes, daily has broken structure, but it's good to go to, uh, to lower time frame. For instance, let's see, if at all you have a break of structure, let's say for example, um, Let's say the market has broken this structure. Can you see? The market has broken this support. So you can see the market has broken this support here. It's good now at this point, it's good to go to four hour to even get more details on either the market wants to go down, continue going down or continue going up. Those are the things, the three rules that you need to do. So with that being said, pay attention and you will see what I really mean, you know, everything I have said, because these are some things that really disturb people. You know, the market will buy, but you buy, and then the market sells. So let's start. This is your trade. I told you in the monthly time frame of the best to trade. Why? Because you have a higher chance to get in that trade and make more money. But now there are some, some instances where on the monthly, you have this double bottom. And again, you have a double top. So in, it's like a ranging channel. So we can put this as a ranging channel. Either way, wherever the market will break, that's where the market is. So, and because the market is at the support area where there's a double bottom, we might concentrate so much with what is happening. So number one, we will assume this double top because it's very far. We will assume this is our neckline and then we, we target our half. This is our half gaze, and this is our neckline. So basically, we have a green candle. If we use WBB, it's like we are saying, we are waiting for one month for this market to do what? To break that box and eventually the break half so that we can continue buying. That is one incidence. But what if, what if the market wants to do a cup and handle? What if it wants to break below here? and go down. That's why I, I always tell you, if you find yourself, you're biased in the market, you are finding yourself, either you are saying, oh, this market will sell, oh, this market will buy, you're in trouble. Because the market has, has always two possibilities. There's always two possibility for the trade, either to buy or to sell. There's no, you can say for sure this market will buy or will sell. You just, you are revealed by bits by bits. Nobody knows exactly what the market will do unless you are revealed bits by bits. So this double bottom, it's easier to trade because you might look for sell opportunity as we wait for the monthly candle to close. So what you will avoid here, anytime you have a double bottom, a possible double 
important that has not been given a buy opportunity, what you avoid, you avoid buying because for us to buy, the market needs to us to break that half. So we can look for sale opportunity as we wait for the monthly candle to close. So for us to buy on what time frame, it's not require it's not a require uh, it's not necessary and it's not even safe so anytime you have a double bottom and you're waiting for buy to be confirmed you can be looking for sell opportunities as we wait for buy because going on lower time frame to look for buy opportunities you will have a disqualified this double bottom which is very wrong so you go to weekly time frame and when you go to weekly time frame, I can already see the, the strategy that I've been talking about, my new strategy, which is called 3CB strategy. 3CB strategy is very easy because you can just uh, draw your zones and wait for the market to break and you're good to go. And because this 3CB strategy is for my students and I don't want to keep um, telling you guys, oh, pay for my course, pay for my course. Here is free content. Um, I will assume the 3CB strategy and assume that what we have on the weekly is a ranging channel. Are we together? So we have this ranging channel. So two things can happen on any ranging channel. Number one, the market can break at resistance zone. Number two, the market can break at support zone. So weekly, if you, if you are... If you don't like being, uh, if you don't like uh, uh, having a lot of information data from lower time frame, you can be coming every week to check where the market will break, and that is the easiest way. But for me, because I have a lot of time in my hands and I want again to pick a lot of data, I will be looking forward to see what is happening because on the weekly there's nothing I can do. I cannot buy. I cannot sell. At least monthly, it's telling me, look for sell opportunity, but don't buy. Because for you to buy, the market needs to break half. You see, now monthly, it's giving me at least a one direction. It's telling me, it's okay, you can sell, but the only thing you can't do is to buy. But when I come to weekly, my hands are tied. I cannot look for buy, I cannot look for sell, because I have some, some structures here, the zones, the marked zones where... So I go to daily time frame. So when I go to daily time frame, I want to come out of that uh, cocoon of being told by weekly you can't do anything. And this is where everything becomes interesting. Why? Because I find on the daily I have a pattern. And guys, if I tell you that patterns really work, patterns work magic. So I have this double, the double top that is nowhere, nowhere in any other time frame. And then I have this neckline. And then I have the half. So here I, I can leverage on, at least I have a pattern and I can be working on the pattern as I wait for to see the how the weekly candle will close, you see? So, and you see, at the end of the day, there's no way you can, see, uh, the market, the, 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 the knowledge of retracement comes when you're given an entry. You are not even caring if the market will retrace or not if you're not being given an entry. So that don't worry why you're not talking about, about retracement and the videos about retracement. Retracement will come immediately when you're told buy or sell. That's when you're concerned. So if you don't have a confirmation of buy or sell, you're not caring about retracement. So just hold on and then you'll see what will happen. So at the end of the day, we have this possible double top. And again, it can still do two things. The double top can be a complete double top and go down. That is one. And it can be a inverted cap and handle. So at the end of the day, 2020, 2024, make it your, make it like, um, it's called what? Make it your goal to learn these patterns because they really work. They really work and they are everywhere, everywhere. If you look, you will see them. If you look those patterns, you will see them. Now, uh, we have that. And the market can either break above or below. So if it breaks, if this green candle comes and break this area, we have a cap and handle. If the market comes and break this neckline, we have a cap and handle. So it's our work to wait. So we wait and we see. So the market has not broken our half, almost breaking our half, but it has not broken our half and our half is broken. So before even you place a, a, a sell trade, 
before you place a sell trade, we need to look for any obstacles either on four hour so that we don't enter a buy, a sell, and then we have a, a, a support area and it's a double bottom. That is something you need to really keep look for. So we can see on our left, there's no obstacle. So we are good to go. That sell is confirmed. That's something that many people don't, um, don't pay attention. Uh, they don't pay attention on obstacles and they are very, very strong in the market. So how many pips are those? Around 89 pips. So let's see what happens. So the market goes after two days, it hits your take profit. Note on the monthly, I told you guys, monthly time frame said you cannot buy because buying we need to break the half, but you can sell. You can sell. And that's why you're seeing when sell opportunity comes, it is just dropping easily. So when the market is at that area, we are just waiting for the channel for the neckline to break. So you wait for the neckline to break. And once the neckline is broken, this is where retracement guys come in. Because majority don't know what to do at this time. Majority of people don't understand the importance of knowing now retracement. This is where now you bring your A game of the four types of retracement. The question is, what kind of retracement will this market do? Will it do a deep retracement? A deep retracement, I'm talking about the market going back. The market can even go back even to this zone and then come down. That is what we call deep retracement. Will it do a one candle retracement? Will it do no retracement? Where we will see the market tapping the, tapping the take profit and even continuing. If this market behaves like this, it means it did not do any retracement. So at the end of the day, will we see a ranging retracement? It's you to comment down below and say, what do you think will happen? Comment down below, what do you think will happen? Do you think these are trades that can give us a deep retracement, one kind of retracement, ranging retracement, or there will be no retracement? So imagine this is how you trade. You know, many people try to trade in the chart with one mindset. No. Anytime you come in this chart with one mindset, let me tell you, you'll be whipped. You'll be whipped. In this chart, you come with different mindsets. You're coming saying, but then I can have a deep retracement. I can have no retracement. I can have ranging retracement or one hand retracement. It's me now to use the strategy that Mofri Effect is providing for me. Now, let's again, first we start with the rule. I told you, if you want to put your first trade, where should be your first trade around this area? Why? Because that is the candle that broke. That is the first area that you should place your trade. Did we say that, guys? We said that. If you want to place your first trade, you place it at that area of the, the beginning of the week and the end of the week. That is your first trade entry. The second trade is where the market can form a double bottom. Did we say something like that? Yes. We said where the market can form. Now, whenever the market has reached that area, whenever the market has reached the first area, we will flip to a four hour and then we will try to look. Why are we flipping to four hour? Why are we flipping to lower time frame? We want to see the strength of sellers coming back. Because when the market is retracing, anytime the market is coming, is going up, guess what? Buyers are in control. So the purpose of us going to lower time frame is looking where the sellers are getting more power. Calm down. Are we together? So we won't go back until this market comes at this area. So the next day, the market comes and activates our trade. Now you have one trade activated. You have your second trade here. And then you go, you flip to four. Hour. You're thinking what what uh, what could trigger a sell entry? But on four hour, what is happening? The market starts to break on the upper side. So you can see the market is breaking. The market has power. Now we are at this resistance and we are at this resistance. We are we are waiting to see sellers coming in and becoming more powerful. Like we need to see change of character. So number one, you will put where the candle break here. Number one, you will put where the candle, the, the beginning of the candle this is where you'll put your first trade. Number two, the second area is where it can form a double top. Yeah. Number three, 
he will be monitoring for character, change of character. So right now, buyers are in control. So let's see what happens. You can see that sellers are not able to, so we have this area and we have this area. Sellers are not able to break any law. So they are creating high laws instead of creating lower laws. So we will be, we are looking at everything. We are looking at everything. So the market continues break. You can see the retracement is not yet done. When you see resistance keep breaking, the retracement is not yet done. So you are careful, careful and continue. It continues to break. So already this trade that you entered around here, you are at a drawdown of 53 pips, no problem. So we are waiting to see, will they activate this area? So we have been given another support. Can you see guys, we have another support there. This red candle has created another support. So we are hoping to see sellers changing this character of buyers to selling. And the only way they can sell, they can change from buying way to selling way is breaking support. I hope I'm clear. These things are very, very important. If you can only take notes and know what I'm saying, the only way you can know that now the retracement is done when you go to lower time frame is when you see the strains of sellers. And yet, we have not seen any strains of sellers. And as we are waiting, what has happened, guys? Do we see the strength of sellers? Of course, yes. The strength of sellers, the market has broke. Can you see the market has broke? All along, sellers were not getting broke and it has broke. You still use the same principle. You can place the first trade, but remember the, the other trade that you were activated is still in the same area. Can you remember the activated trade is already on the same zone? So there is no need of adding another trade, but I told you anytime a candle breaks any structure and you want to enter sell, come and look for sell opportunity around this area. That's where you'll get more uh, more opportunities. So you know already sellers have declared and already you have a sell limit around here because of the daily time frame. And the daily time frame is where you're thinking a double top can occur. And then what happens? The market um, starts to come up, starts to come up. Of course, you have not activated. Two trades are not yet activated. And then you activated your first trade, your second trade, and the third trade is activated. Once the that trade is activated, already you know that on the daily time frame, what is happening? They have given you the double top. So your eyes is focused on this double top to see what is happening. And you're not waiting when you don't have anything to do. You're waiting when you have when you have um you're waiting when you have a, a pattern in place. So this is a double top. If this market comes down and breaks this area. Where, what do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? We'll have uh, we'll have uh, the market coming to that direction. Let me just delete that. So we have a double top like that. And then we have this one, the bigger one. So we have two areas here. Now we are waiting to see what will happen. Again, um, you already have three trades. So the first day, the market cap continues to go down, gives you a bearish engulf. Of course, this is to tell you that retracement is over. Bearish engulf, it is very, very powerful in the market. It's telling you, go, go on. So you have a trade here, short position. You had some trades here. You can even add another trade. And all the take profit, you're taking profit up to there because that is the half. So you can imagine how many pips are those. Those are so many pips, 200 pips. And then the market goes and there's red flag here. So what did I say? When the market breaks, when the market breaks, it is probably will go back to this long candle. So you need to exit all the three trades because even the first trade, it has some money. It has 112 pips and the other two trades has 178. Exit those trades and come again and place your sell trades around here. For me, I think that is what I can tell you guys. And once you place the trades around there, guess what? The market retraces back because that is how type of retracements happen. And after retracement, the market is done with the retracement and 
calm down and hit the take off. The question is, guys, have you understood anything on this video? Have you understood that majority lose money on this retracement? What people, uh, uh, let me delete and try to, to show you. Yes, we have this double, double top that has broken neckline. Majority will sell here. And then once they sell here, once they sell here, what happens? The market retraces. 133 pips, they are stopped out. And again, they come again and they see this, they see the break of structure, they sell again here. What happens again? The market does what? Goes 169 and they blow money. But you see, if you understand how retracement work, it will be easier for you. This one, it will be giving you more money, it will help you to trade. And you can see not only will did they hit the take profit, they even pass the take profit. But the catch was the retracement, guys. The retracement is what made everything, um, uh, it's what made the difference, guys. And the same double top that was created, the market still finished that double top. So what was hard on this trade was the retracement. People were not able to understand. When they saw the market going up, majority even they buy when they are not supposed to buy. I hope this video was helpful. I hope now you'll pay attention on retracement. I have told you three things. Number one, look where the candle is. Uh, the candle is um, uh, the candle that has broken. And then, like we would have said, the market would come here and give us a double top. You see this one? it would not have been activated. If we, had, if we had a sell limit, it could not have been activated. But if at all, what if we went on lower time frame to look for a uh, sell confirmation where market is changing from buy to sell. You see all along, the market is buy, buy. They are breaking. You can see they are breaking resistance, resistance. Why, why can't we just stay on four hour to look for character, change of character? like sell opportunity coming on. So we had this red followed by a green. And this green is a small candle and in decision like a gravestone. This could be your second entry. And that's what I'm saying. It is easier, it is easier that way. So you can enter with those three things and then the market just drop down. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have understood by the today's video is about retracement. All the best. Love you so much. Hope you'll make money with these videos. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.